Okay, guys. So today we're making mena men, mena men. For all you uncultured Americans that just eat like hard-boiled eggs and lettuce for breakfast, this is like a saucy Turkish meal for one to two people. Three to six pe people. I know my mom is gonna say, Jesse, why don't you have clothes on, Jesse? Why didn't you brush your hair? Mom, this is my cooking channel. I can do what I want. All right, so for Menemen, you need a few essential ingredients. First, you need tomatas. How to say in Turkish? Tomatas. Then you need onion. You should probably use more onions and preferably ones that are not growing a full-fledged plant. But I am the only person who enjoys spice in this house. So... <laughs> We will only use one onion today because Artem doesn't like anything spicy. And garlic. Four eggs. How do we say eggs in Turkish? No idea. Eggs. Butter. But we will leave this in the sun the old fashioned way because it's hard. Oh, that kind of hurt. And some green, green onion. Look at this green onion. Today, I have invited my chef, Artem, to help me with everything. We also need oil, and we also need red wine. Can you open it? Are you sure you really want this wine? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't need red wine. <laughs> you guys, Artem has never seen the American movie, Dodgeball. Like, what kind of travesty is this? But he's seen every horror movie there is, but he has not seen dodgeball. Oh, and the next step is to cut onions and you have to put them in here. That's the first thing. First, you need to saute the onions. Sachet, oh fuck. So, oh damn it. Saute. You must cut some garlic, maybe like three cloves. Artem is good at cutting garlic because he is stronger than me and more patient. Okay, so you're gonna want to soften your butter if you are like not us. So this is the way that I prefer to soften it. <laughs> In the wise words of my idol RuPaul. Shantae, you stay. So you would add some olive oil. Normally you would add peppers, but Artem is like against peppers. So onions and garlic is the way next you should like while this is sauteing the garlic is cut you should cut tomatoes however our knives are forged from like freaking daffodils because like they don't cut anything like they were made in prison actually that's not true if they were made in prison they would be like super good these are like made in like a mall galleria like a nail salon no nail salons are sharp too i don't know something that somewhere where they don't make sharp things okay so like all of this is up for debate like it's kind of like a taste and like trial thing you could put these in as you're making it but like tomatoes onions butter for sure if you don't do the add garlic obviously obviously okay it wouldn't be a jessica cooking video if i didn't burn something so like we're going to start over I'm sorry. Yeah, I will eat something else. What? No! We already added like the onions and the tomatoes and then you just sprinkle like the salt pepper mixture. You can do it like at your own pace. And you're gonna let this kind of simmer for a while and soon it's going to become less watery. And then you'll dump the eggs in. The eggs will soak up the excess and then you'll go ahead and put the green onions in and then you'll be like, chokuzar, perfect. Look at this, look at it. 